Hello everyone, hey, welcome back to uh, another episode of Jay's Lock and Diary. Uh, I'm Jay and this is the garden. Uh, it is now uh, Sunday the 6th of February and uh, by God it's been windy. We've been getting hit with some strong winds. Uh, if I try and spin the camera around off the, just the last storm up we just had, as you can see there, it's uh, smashed out two panes of glass. I have got some more glass spare, hopefully it's going to fit in there nicely. They're just stone inside of the main shed at the moment because I don't know if you can hear or out, but we're all still getting hit with some strong winds. Uh, so I'm in no rush and now like that. It's not affecting now because now like that. Uh, I'm getting no delight in because of this uh, roof now has been changed and stuff. So it's all right. So I'm just going to just hold off and uh, I'm not going to put any glass inside of that just yet. All the side panels on this greenhouse and all are starting to come away. So I have to put frames around them on the outside uh, just to secure them up and stuff. But AI, this wind has been an absolute nightmare. But it could have been a lot worse. That was the only uh, damage, so I'm very pleased with. Uh, today, guys, what I'm going to be doing is, is I'm going to be doing some more peas, uh, setting some more peas away. Uh, so I've done a little test there, and as you can see, there we're starting to get some nice germination starting to come through. So I just thought, set some more peas away now, just get them done. Uh, like I say, only paid a pound for these packets here. So this is the right to call early onwards. You can start sowing them from February. Like I say, these are just a pound. And I managed to get a full tree of them already. So also I'm going to do some broad beans. Uh, never grew broad beans before. This wouldn't be the first time uh, that we grew broad beans. So I'm all new to it, so it's just learning at the moment. Uh, I did set some seed away, uh, just to do a little check on them for germination. And as you can see there guys, uh, these are starting to come through uh, nicely. The nice uh, size multi-cell trays, they've got a fair size in them, so these can just sit in here for a little while and then uh, I will be transferring them down to the other garden. Need to look into these guys, I'm not too sure how to snip the uh, tops off them once I get a certain size, so it encourages more side shoots from them. Uh, I don't know if it tells you that on the back of the packet, I will have another read of that. Uh, but yeah, that's the first time growing these before, so we're going to do some more of them. Uh, I managed to fill up another two trays. So I've got the trays down here. So these have just been filled up and pre-soaked. Uh, these ones here are for the peas. And these ones here are for the broad beans. The broad beans we're doing are called Bunyard Exhibition. And they could, these again are a pound, and you can sow these from October to May. So they're looking good. So I'm going to do some more of them as well. So what I'm going to do now, guys, is I'm just going to just crack on with it. So I'm going to get a tray. So what we're going to do is we're going to do the peas first. I hope you can hear us all right. So I've just got a little dabber, just a little pen, like that. Just go around, dab a little hole in all of them. And all I do with these seed is, I just leave the seed on the top, more or less. So it's got plenty of room for the root to go down. So I get this pause now, I quickly get them put in and I'm have a little look, okay? Right and guys, so as you can see there, they're just sitting on the top of the surface of the soil. So they've got all that down there where the root can go nicely. Uh, some I have dropped two in and some I have just dropped one in. Doesn't matter. So all I'm going to do with this now is, is just put a bit of topsoil on the top. So I pause it now. 
So then guys, there you have it. Uh, just how a little bit pumps out on top of that. Uh, that'll go back down there again. Uh, I do the rest of them. Uh, the broad beams I do exactly the same, just keeping at the top so we've got loads of room for the root to go down. Uh, I only drop one broad bean in each one because they're quite big. Uh, once they're all done, I put them back down on the tray down there. I go back over them again with the water and can with the uh, rose on and just give them a little bit more of a soak and then that's it. I'm not going to give them too much water because they end up just rotting away. Uh, I do keep my water inside of this greenhouse and uh, like that, barrel like that, and that just keeps it at the same temperature what's inside of here. Uh, so, there we go, guys. So, I'm gonna get the rest of these done now, okay? And then, what I'll do is I'll spin the camera around and let you have a little look, okay? Right, I'll catch you in a minute, right, guys. I hope you think that was all right because it's turning out pretty bad out there now. Here, the rain's a uh, starting to come down and also the wind's starting to pick up a little bit uh, that's the broad beans sorted in the peas uh, I did run out of broad beans there guys uh, so I need to go and pick some more up uh, so I only managed to fill up one tray for the broad beans uh, but that's alright I'll go I'll go and pick some up uh, later on uh, there I've got uh, plastic covers over the top of the trays now and uh, also I put a little bit of fleece over the top of them as well it's just to protect them a little bit from the cold which should, should be alright but also it's more for mice running around and stuff like that and they're just going there and they just, they just take all the seed so that's why the rainy the covers are on for because they've been absolutely fine on the bench there uh, but I've just left these on the floor on the water tray with a little bit cover over the top of them I will spin the camera around guys and let us have a little look uh, I was hoping to take this outside, uh, but like I say, this rain's starting to come down now and the wind's starting to pick up because we've got all the grounds and all that sorted out there. So basically, guys, and the little patio area, all that's all being cleared and stuff now. Uh, we've only got to sort out the raised beds, which is at the bottom of the garden, which I'm hopefully going to grow some carrots and some parsnips inside of there uh, and other stuff. Uh, I was going to have a little walk through with you and uh, give you a little update of what's going on. But like I see how uh, the weather is pretty bad same as down at the other garden and all guys uh, not a lot's going on down there at this moment of time due to the weather and stuff everything's come to a bit of a halt uh, we're, we're all starting to turn the grounds over the long the long straight run as soon as the weather turns a bit better guys i will give you a better update on it but uh, things are coming along nicely uh, slowly but nicely also the pony tunnel and all in the middle of the frame and all that out that's getting framed out and i bought some pipe padding to go over the bars uh, I bought about 47 meters of it so I've got more than enough but I will give you an update on all that as soon as this weather gets a little bit better uh, everything inside of this greenhouse seems to be doing okay like I see I showed you the peas I showed you my uh, broad beans I've got some the onions and the leeks are starting to come through nicely so we've got some Elsa Craig's onions and also we've got some muskrat leeks so I'll show you these So there you must probably eat. Uh, as you can see, they've still got all the seed heads on the top. You leave them on, don't pull them off, just let them be, because like, them there have got like uh, bits of nutrients inside of them and all that. Everything what they need is inside of that seed. Uh, as you notice there, it is pretty dry. That's the best way to have it. If I keep on filling that with water all the time, it's just going to damp them off, and then they just start rotting away. Them are happy. You can tell by that, because all the seed heads are left on. They're standing up straight, spot on. That's exactly how you want them. And these have been inside of this greenhouse and it's been freezing cold, so spot on. So then they are the muskrat leeks. Uh, these are the Elsa Craig onions and as you can see they're there starting to cook nicely as well. So these are just got a certain size guys, I let, uh, these got a certain size. I go through them and I might put them into some side of uh, some multi style trays. Uh, just like I've done with the peas there and then let them grow and say they for like a nice roof hole and then we'll pull them out and then we'll transfer them straight into the ground that is the plan uh, but like I say the same again guys keep them dry as possible just have a little bit of water in there and just let them be these got sown on the 28th of the 12th so not too bad especially freezing cold
So I've got some lovely onions going up at home. The exhibition DT Browns. One of them is huge. Uh, keep an eye on it because uh, I don't want to start like bulbing. Uh, I have to give you a little update on the grow room. There's not enough room in my grow room to grow the onions. Uh, they're all taking over a little bit and they are starting to look a little bit uh, crowded and stuff. So next day probably be a little bit different. Uh, hopefully I've got a new grow room. Or if not, I'll probably not be doing onions like that inside of the grow room. If I do, it'll just be a couple. I have set some away, exactly the same seed, DT Brown exhibition down in the greenhouse just yeah, in a, a cold greenhouse. And as you can see there, we're starting to get some nice germination come through them. Don't know if these are going to be anything fancy or anything special because I've never grown them before. Uh, especially when I haven't been on the lights. The ones that are on the lights are looking good, but we will see. So yeah, they're coming on nicely. Same again, I've done some Peter Glaze books and also I've got some down here and as you can see, hopefully they're coming through nicely as well. All of these are looking okay. There we go. So I brought some of these leeks inside here. These are exhibition leeks, pot leeks. Uh, some of them are inside here. Some of them are inside of the pot and shed. Just splitting them up a little bit and compare the difference between there and inside of here. And they're doing kind of good. I've probably got about 50 or 60 of them. Yeah, I've got a couple of Cornish Giants cabbages up at home. One of them, no other lie guys, is probably about that. It's huge, it's only a little, little season. Uh, I brought some down to the garden, and as you can see there, there's one there just ticking along nicely. Same again, guys, not loads of water, just a little bit. But the one when I got at home, another great, another uh, grow light. Uh, absolutely massive i'll try and get a picture on of it uh up up there somewhere uh, just so you can have a little look okay guys uh, but it's huge absolutely huge uh that was just a little test that to see if the seed germinated and i just never got rid of the plant i just let it grow and grow and grow and uh, it's still all right it's taken a hell of a lot of room up uh but it's doing good but these ones here i thought i'd just bring down to the garden and just let them sit down here and just see how they get on drop some seed inside of there these are giant cornishes again just seeing how these get on so there's some more i even got the uh, bare giant cabbage as well we've got about three of them up at home i have just set some seed away down here i also we've got some uh hopefully giant swedes as well and uh, we've done some carrots and all giant heavy carrots big heavy carrots uh, got one of them up home it's in a big pot at the moment it's looking good but also I've got a big tube where well, it's going to be sitting inside of there but well, I'll give you all update on all that uh, so hopefully we're going to have some more stuff for the other garden fingers crossed I've just done some Rebecca's uh, these are big nice purple ones uh, so they're just sitting inside of that pot there there we go guys uh, that is it uh, what i'll have to try and uh, do a little update around this garden if this weather calms down a little bit i'm going to be at the garden for another half an hour anyway but if it calms down a little bit we'll have a little bit of a scan round and i'll give you an update if not that is it that is it for uh, this week uh, i will keep this all posted at the other garden and because there's a lot of stuff that's going on down there at the moment but everything's coming with a bit of a halt at the moment because of the weather situation uh, but I will keep this all up posted. Uh, I will just give you a little look inside of the grill room and all and just see how things are getting on there because I've got some nice looking onions inside of there and like I say the cabbages are looking really good as well. Uh, I've got some 
chilli uh, sorry chilli there I've got some peppers bell peppers they're starting to come along nice and now I've just got some lovely little seedlings while it's just starting to pop through uh, so that's what I'm going to be growing this year is, is some peppers bell peppers dad's going to grow a couple of chilli plants uh, I'm just going to just stick to the stick with the bell peppers uh, but I will give you an update on them I also started to sow some uh, tomatoes as well I am doing some uh, Gone as Delight and I think the other one is called a uh, Sunrise they're a nice yellow one uh, but I'll give you an update on them uh, from doing an update on the grow room so there we go guys uh, I will try and do a uh, update around this garden uh, before we end this video but I just want to say uh, thanks a lot guys for uh, watching, for all your likes and all your comments. I want to say hello to all your new subscribers, welcome to the channel. Uh, and also guys, and also follow us now and all on uh, Instagram. It's uh, Jay's Underline Allotment Underline Diary. So come along, check it out and uh, hopefully guys, I'll catch you next week. If the weather's any better, down with the other plot. So I'll catch you in a bit. Right guys, uh, it's been a little break in the weather there, so uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this outside and just give you a little quick update of what's going on outside. Uh, I'll spin the camera around now, the inside of this greenhouse, just to show you what's actually going on, okay? So as you can see, we stuff's just sitting there nicely. Uh, these are the leaks. I've got a load more inside of the pot and shed. Uh, they're inside of the pot and shed uh, because it's more frost-free inside of there. I uh, just wanted to see how they got on inside of here. Uh, like you can see there, that's where I need to sort out the bits of grass. Uh, but hopefully it'll be alright and it doesn't affect anything too much. Uh, these are the peas what we've just gone and done and the broad beans. I've just put some plastic covers over the top of them. And then what I've got and done guys is I'll just put that bit of fleece over the top of them. Uh, the plastic covers are just there just to protect them from any mice running over and taking the seed out. And also I had a bit of spare fleece so I thought I'd just hide it on. It's not doing no harm. Uh, we're great back. Seems to be doing okay guys. Yeah, just give it a bit of a clean. It's stopped over there. I might let it come along here. I don't I don't really know just yet. Right guys, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go outside and I'll give you a quick update of what's going on outside, okay? Right guys here, so we've been in the middle of getting all this uh, patio area sorted. So we've got some to set in the summer. We're gonna get rid of this old fire little area. So all the grounds here are starting to be turned over hopefully you can see all right where we had the delias these have been turned over we've got some nice fennel inside of here so I had to put a bit of support on there because of the winds just knocking it out of here uh, but if I quickly try and squeeze away here as you can see we've got some nice bulbs of fennel still going nicely nice and strong This raised bed here, I was starting to get nettles coming up, so I had to sort it all out. Get it sorted, but it's looking really good. I think the side of there is breaking down uh, nicely. This is another little bed what we're going to use. That was out of the pot and shed, the little trough that we had. But I think these nettles, yeah. They're just totally taking over this bit of raised bed. So like I say, I, I'm trying to keep on top of it as much as possible. Uh, it's a bit of a shame, I should have had some cover inside of there. But I will be keeping a good eye on that. Uh, as you can see, there and there, all being dug over. We did have a big fire on there. And it's all being all digged in now, all the burnt wood and stuff. Yeah, a bit ash. We're just going to start going through this and getting this hoard because we've got some spring bulbs and stuff inside of here which are starting to come through so as you can see there with spring bulbs and that are starting to come through got a couple of raised beds here what we need to go through and sort out this area has all been cleared out uh, obviously we're burning this uh, material here off the pony to work got damaged this needs to be all topped up uh, as you can see, we've got some garlic growing inside of here, all along the borders of it. Uh, so the rest of this stuff here is going to be getting all cleared out. Uh, we're just feeding it the chickens at the moment, uh, apart from the garlic, of course. 
and then we'll get this topped up and this is where I'm going to put some carrots and stuff because I doubt I'm going to be getting any uh, pony tunnel put there anytime uh, soon uh, but yeah guys everything around the garden is looking spot on starting to look clean and tidy now like I say just getting things all straightened up ready for the new season so there we go guys quick update thanks very much for watching and stuff like that like i said really, really appreciate it hopefully next week's a better week and we can get down to the other garden and do some work down there and give us a bit of an update uh, i will get a video up and give you an update on the onions inside of the grow room as well uh, so we'll get that sorted as soon as possible but catch us later